Hello guys, and uh, welcome to the final race of the day. We have Terran coming at you real hot. Terran boys, back to the T-Ran. Uh, for those of you watching the YouTube series, you've been watching Terran the whole time. Well, how you doing? We're gold one now. We're getting ready to go plat. Getting ready to go plat. So again, we're going to be doing uh, pretty much everything we've already been doing in Gold League. And just trying to refine it even more, trying to keep it all going as well as we can. Not enough minerals. The goal is, obviously, we're going to um, continue everything off of the fact that, or off of uh, our earlier leagues, off of our earlier, even in Gold League, everything we've already been doing. We're going to be uh, scouting. We're going to be maxing a little bit faster. We're going to be trying to identify what's going on a little bit more. Just getting a bit of a read on our opponent, more or less. And, you know, having some type of an idea as to what the hell we should expect. What should we expect? <laughs> Down supply block. You make those SC make those SCVs. Make them. Do not block. All right. Okay, so the one more SCV is going to finish. It's going to time out with the barracks. Make that orbital command ASAP. And Zerg expanded, so we can also expand on the low ground. We'll be fine. Let's take a moment to see his pool timing. It's, it's, it's just started recently. So, yeah, we're good to go, guys. Plenty of time. We don't have to worry about Lings hitting us in any way, shape, or form. So, like, it's basically very standard game at this point now. Let's send our SCV back in one more time, really quick. Just to see if this guy is going for a gas. And yes, he is. Okay, it's, just, it's very standard. It's a standard gas timing. It's not aggressive at all. The, the, the fact that he will have a gas start mining when the pool's done, rather than having 100 speed, or 100 gas for speed when the pool's done, that tells you the Zerg wants to be defensive. If the, if the pool had already... Uh, if the gas had already mined out 100 as the pool finishes and he starts speed immediately, that tells you more likely that Zerg probably wants to be aggressive. So we know this is a defensive macro Zerg, essentially. He could do anything he wants now. Okay, we're going to rotate. Because this is a defensive Zerg, we're going for a uh, reactor first. If it was an aggressive Zerg, we would go for a tech lab first because the aggressive zergs could have banelings and or roaches and that shit is going to kill you if you go hellions okay fully saturated main let's re-rally to the natural let's go ahead and lift, lift my uh, barracks off we'll send our barracks over here fuck it so it's our new scout. It's gonna see if overlords are up there. Command center upgrade. Let's make some depots. Try not to block. Not enough minerals. Ready to raise some hell. Okay, and let's also get ready for uh, additional supplies. Let's get ready for a third command center here in just a second. Because our natural is getting well saturated right now. It's getting up there. Let's grab this SCV. Let's throw down a third CC really quick, and then we'll go back to making a tank. While once again maintaining SCV production. SCV production key. There's a tank. Ready to raise some hell. Make another depot. And uh, right around the time when we start our third tank this game, we're going to be starting um, Armory, Engineering Bay. Okay, we're getting all in right now. Keep making shit. Pull our SCVs. This is an all in. Keep making SCVs. We are getting massively all in right now. 
Raise my depots. It's uh, we breached the natural. Okay, make another depot. We can recover from this. It's annoying, but we can recover. SCV ready. What's going on? Ready to raise some hell. Make a orbital command out of my third command center. SCV ready. That was a lot of lings. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and repair these front wall depots. And once again, let's go for, like we talked about, once we start our third tank, Armory and Engineering Bay. Let's make our tank at Siege down here. Armory, Engineering Bay. Keep dropping mules. And now we have a nice wall off in our base in case he does that again, we'll be okay. Because he, he did get out with a lot of links. He didn't lose all of them. But this is this is the power of macro, guys. We we're not dead yet. It's not a guarantee that we're just like in a great spot. But if this guy went for a timing that was designed to really fuck me up, and he only killed like twelve SCVs at my natural, and then that was kind of that, and he didn't macro behind that very well, we're still could very, be very well be in a great spot. Let's go to make another base. Make a couple of gases. And now we're going into Thor production. So once again, as we talk about always, let's just let's just unsiege one of our tanks because this one's about to finish. Unsiege a tank, attack move towards my third with tank Hellion. Let's make Hellbats. Siege my tanks. Good shit. Hellbats. Start making Hellbats only because we have an armory. Let's get a second armory. Shift click back to the mineral line with that SCV. Don't ever let your SCVs just idle, do nothing. And start sending SCVs down to my uh, my third base. Drop some meals on it. Now the next time we get energy, we're going to scan his base and his main and see what he's going for. You are going for Hydras and possibly Swarm Hosts. That's okay. Get ready to build another command center. And let's take a planetary. Oh, this has to be stuck behind the mineral line. It got walled in. Okay. okay. okay our, our money's getting kind of uh, ramped up now. I can't spend it as well. Let's go ahead and start a few factories. I cannot spend my money as fast as I'm earning it at this point. Let's go ahead and start blue flame. Let's start building armor. Keep SCVs pumping. Keep my units pumping. Keep getting depots. SCV counts at 68. We're almost fully saturated. Almost. Three tech labs, one reactor. Let's transfer some SCVs to a new base. And let's mule dump it. Not With what I, or two mules, sick. <laughs> it's a big mule dump. Upgrade. Lift it off, take a new base, planetary that shit, make a new command center. Get upgrades going. We got two one started for shit. Let's go ahead and also get smart servos and also building range now because these upgrades are gonna finish soon. So queue them up with the new shit, it's fine. Send SVs to the new base with oversaturation. Take our gases and take a turret. SCV count is basically done. We're very close to being done. Scan his base again, really quick. Infestors. Make another planetary, make a turret for it. 
Get my gases going at this base. Gas, 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 gas. Also, I'll show you guys a trick right here. What I just did. If you have mules on your midter line, grab SCVs, control click them so you don't mule move the mules, and then work with SCVs going down to four. Do not make mules right click your gas. It's a waste of their time. Additional supply depots required. Make another planetary up here. Send a few SCVs over. Send two and two. Okay, we're good on SCVs. We're done. Let's go ahead and make some more factories. Just a couple more. Three more. We're about to max out, guys. This is nice. So let's take two Hellions and do the same thing we do always. Uh, right click, right click, right click. And I, I make sure you move command them too, otherwise they might get stuck on like attacking a roach or some shit. And you might get screwed for that. Okay. Okay, you get armor, level two. And where's your base? Where's the new bu the new bills the new buildings at? The new hatcheries. Let's make more factories. Okay, the Zerg is not on that many bases. The Zerg is also going Broodlords. The Zerg is actually on three bases. Unsiege my tanks. Hellbat my Hellions. High impact payload my Thors. A move this shit right now. A move his third. A move his natural. A move his main. Get weapons for my Thors. More factory add-ons. And more, more add-ons for factories over there in just a second. Keep making command centers overall and remember keep dropping mules on new bases that's how we always do it Not enough energy. we're gonna make like two reactors and two tech labs here or not, not even we're gonna make one and three one three tech lab one reactor Unacceptable command. We are at maximum supply. okay and now again now we're gonna ramp up some money for a second let's go ahead and throw down a couple command centers Got any extra for orbital commands What's going on? Okay, that's good. Complete. Let my money kind of just keep surging up now. It's up here. Command center what else do we, we Idle SCVs anywhere? No. Okay. So. I'm just going to throw this out there. It seemed like we got fucked up, right? At the start of the game. When all those lings hit us. And we're like, oh god. Vibes Natural just got, like, bombarded by masslings. I'm gonna let you guys know what the amount of lings that this guy made. There were so fucking many of them. When I said, it's okay, pull SCVs, whatever, it's fine. Just keep making units. I really do think, even though we lost SCVs at that stage, I think we still had the worker lead after all my SCVs died. And let's, let's find out, right? Let's find out. <clears throat> he chose to actually take a defensive gas, but then he chose to flood lings with it. Like, just make mass lings and stockpile. Look at the worker count. This is an all-in type shit going on. This needed to honestly, like, kill me. So when he shows up, I have 36 SCVs to 16 Zerglings. We lose. 15 SCVs just died. 15 SCVs just died and we still have a 10 worker lead. On top of that, we are also a 3 command center Terran now. Fighting a 2 hatchery Zerg. This is an amazing position for Terran to be in. If I was, if I was watching someone, like two other players play this game, I would say, okay, the Terran is in a great spot now. Like it looked kind of scary. But with how much the Zerg invested into this and is making more lings on top of that, this is a terrible spot for Zerg to be in. So look at the recovery.
<clears throat> look, look at the supply already. Like, this position is amazing. It's because we just macroed throughout the whole process of getting attacked really heavily. And you see, like, some people... This is why I want you guys to, to really think. Macro is the solution to a lot of your answers. Especially if you're in Gold League. It's all your answers is macro. Because some people... I really do think some people would go, Well, shit. I just lost my... Uh, I just lost my SCVs at my natural. This sucks. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my next round of Hellions. I'm going to go across the map. And I'm going to try and counterattack and kill drones. I'm going to just try and fuck some drones up. Because otherwise I'm dead. That just did way too much damage. But if you really think about it, if you just look at how early that was and the sheer amount of lings that that was, that meant that he was not making drones. That was a fuckload of lings. There's so many lings. Like, you don't have to always micro your way out of a situation. Microing your way out of a situation is something that is good if you can handle macroing at the same time. And then suddenly, not only do you get some damage done on somebody, but you don't slow your build down at the same time. And again, that is a higher level maneuver. That is not a gold maneuver. And now look, look at the situation in this game. We macroed out of this problem, and now we're maxed out. We're doubling the Zerg supply. And not only are we doubling the Zerg supply, we are on five bases versus a three base Zerg. And we also, ha at this point now, we have so much fucking production. We have like, this is when we have 14 factories, and we're about to take mass CCs. Which is going to put us in this... Now the position's even better, because now we can have like... Six orbital, or more than that, sorry, we'll have eight orbital commands. Eight orbital commands dropping mules all over the place, so our economy is going to be like 5,000 minerals a minute. It's crazy. Now, let's just watch, uh, I guess, we'll look at his base when we attack him. But this game is going to be over pretty hard. Broodlord, show up. Brood... Thors are really good against broods by themselves now. You see, Terran can deal with this bullshit really easy. Protoss is a little, a little more annoying. He needs stargates of Protoss. But Terran's just like, lol, broodlords, I have Thors. <laughs> broodlords are dead. <laughs> this is the god comp. I'm not going to lie. This is, this is, I think, the god comp of low league. Especially since they also buffed Thors again. Okay. And God Compo needs one game. <laughs> I'm sorry. My Terran series is going to be so short. <laughs> Christmas came early. Thanks for the B2GM series, my dude. Yo, thank you very much, Jim Jim. I appreciate your 20, man. You're fucking boss. Guys, before I end this video, let me just say this. For those of you that are like, Vibe, what the fuck? Dude, your Terran series is like, I don't get many games to watch here, man. Don't worry. You're you're still getting the gist of all the examples. Like, j just do everything we're doing. Like, macro, macro, macro. Build your fa build your production up as you can afford it. Once you're maxed, add more production so you can remax. Add more income so you can add more command centers. So you can, like, just mule drop crazy amounts of money into your bases. But don't worry. Because when I get to, like, Master's League with Terran, don't, it's going to be a struggle. And you'll get plenty of Terran games to watch. Don't worry. There will be plenty of... T like, I'm going to probably struggle the hardest with Terran when I hit Masters, so it's going to suck. <laughs> and I'll be there forever. <laughs> well, yo, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very quick uh, Gold 1 to Plat 3 video. And I will see you guys in Plat uh, for more of uh more bronze jam and we're gonna be ramping it up a bit more again we'll talk about it then peace guys have a good night